In this video, we go over a few different tips to make sure that your Mac is ready for the new update Catalina coming up on Split Second Tech. Hello and welcome to another video of Split Second Tech. Apple has announced that the Catalina update should release sometime this month. So in this video, we're gonna show you a few different tips and tricks to make sure that your Mac is ready to go. Now, there are a few ways that you can go about doing this. First and foremost, you can always download a third-party application that can go in and check those applications to see if they have that 64-bit architecture. Otherwise, if you wanna save yourself the hassle of downloading a new program and opening it up, you can go in. It is a little bit more tedious process, but you can go in up to the Apple menu, select on About This Mac, and then from there, you're gonna to want to click on the System Report. From there, select the application applications under the software tree and in the middle it will either give you a 64-bit yes or a 64-bit no and you can just go ahead and hit the down arrow to cycle through the applications really quickly just to verify that they are a 64-bit architecture. Once you've gone through and verified that there are no 32-bit applications on the computer, the next step is to make sure that it is decluttered as much as possible. Now, Macs are normally pretty good about cleaning up after themselves, but it's always a good idea to go through, optimize, and just double check the storage settings just to make sure it's as decluttered as possible. So to do this, what you're gonna want to do is head on up into the top left and click on the Apple menu, and then come on down and click on About This Mac. From here, you're going to wanna click on the tab that says Storage, and it's gonna give you a list of different things that you can run to make sure that that your system is optimized, such as emptying your trash and optimizing the computer. Now, the benefit of going through and cleaning up and optimizing your Mac is this next tip is to go in and make a backup of your system. That way, in case something happens with the Catalina update, you have something to fall back on and you're not totally out of computer. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to use the time machine option, but you're also gonna want to have an external drive plugged in in order to put the backup on. So to do this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the Apple menu, and then you're gonna head on down to System Preferences. After you've clicked on Time Machine, go ahead and plug in your external drive and you should see your drive name pop up in the list. Click on the list and then select Use Disk. From here, you're gonna go ahead and follow the last on-screen prompts to go through and make that backup and let that finish. Now, you guys are probably wondering which devices are compatible with the Mac OS Catalina update. Here is a current list and I will also put this list in the description below the video. But as you can see going through this list, it looks like it's almost every single Mac that is 2012 and and newer. Although we don't have an exact release date from Apple yet on when this update will be available, it is rumored to be released on October 4th, which is going to be a day before this video was actually posted. So if you're watching this video now, there is a chance that the Mac OS Catalina update is available for you, but there is also a chance that it may not be. So to do this, what you can do is check to see if it is available, and if it is, you're gonna head on into your app store and check for updates. Now this is of course a major operating system update, so you will want to be connected to a Wi-Fi network work to get it downloaded. A couple things to keep in mind when downloading the update or at least checking for it is Apple may not release the update to all regions at the exact same time. They may roll it out in different ways. So you may not see it available right away, but just keep trying and just keep checking for it because eventually it will hit your region. In any case, the Mac OS Catalina update is a long anticipated update just because it brings a lot of new features to the Mac OS world, such as running and using iOS apps or the Apple Arcade on the Mac OS platform, as well as using your iPad as a secondary screen using the sidecar feature. And that wraps up this week's Split Second Tech, bringing us into our question of the day. What Mac OS feature are you excited for with Catalina? Connect with me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a share and check out some of the other videos that we do on this channel. We are a tech-focused channel. Here are a couple examples for you. Subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.